All right, so we're going to look at how to create an assignment. So I chose the plus button here, which gave me all of my options. I'm going to choose Create Assignment. And here I will uh, give a title to my assignment. So, and I can give a description of what I want people to do. I can set a due date and I can attach something uh, a file, I can attach something from my Google Drive, I can attach a YouTube video or a link. If I wanted to attach, say, a file, I would find the document here in my Google Drive, find the document that I want, and then I would go ahead and choose it. Then I could add, and I could continue to add as many documents or items as I choose to. Here's the classroom that I'm in right now, but if I had several classrooms that I wanted to share this with, I would simply check off all the classrooms that I wanted to share this with. I could either um, assign it right now or go ahead and save it as a draft. If I'm doing something from Google Docs, I can either give the students a view file, so they're all looking at one file. They can edit a file, which means they are all editing the same file, or I can make a copy for each student. This is the one that I use most often. But for this one, I'm just going to um, have the people view it. And then I can go ahead and choose the assignment. You'll notice that the assignment shows up at the top of my stream. I can come over here to see who is done and who is not done. I could also choose to edit or delete this. And if I go ahead here, I can say, see who is not done. Once they are done and they hand it in, I can then auto grade it right from here. Here it is based on 100 points, but I can change it. And if I have something different besides 1, 20, 50, or 100, I could go ahead and just highlight that. Click the number of points that it's worth update and now I can just go ahead and start grading once all of the paperwork comes in. While I'm also in here I can also look back at my instructions and see what I told the students to do and what I gave them. From here I can also edit and delete the assignment. In order to go back to my stream I choose the arrow button over here on the left and here I am back at my stream.